What's up YouTube? My name is Kenneth. Today we have an unboxing from LightTake.com. So this has come to us from LightTake.com and it is a Land Land 4x4. Now I have quite a few 4x4s and you wouldn't think I needed a new one, but a lot of people have asked about this 4x4. And also I wanted a new 4x4 for an upcoming project and you guys will see that later. So let's go ahead and open this and let's see what it came with. It came with a little bag. Let's see, light take, cool, nice little bag. And here is the 4x4. So you can see I got a new camera. I hope to keep everything in focus. If I take it too far that way or too close, it'll come out of focus, so that's a very sharp focus point. I think it's right here. So here's the 4x4. And out of the box, the Land Land turns pretty well. If I recall uh, my Maru 4x4 unboxing, uh, out of the box didn't turn so well. This turns pretty well. Let's uh, try doing one of these. So here's a cube in a cube in a cube in a cube, right? Cube in a cube in a cube in a cube. And that is the land land. So let's uh, do a size comparison real quick. Right here we have an Ishin 4x4. And you can see that the Ishin is a little smaller. This, whoa. Here we have a Maru. And the Maru is a tiny bit smaller. The land land is a tiny bit bigger. This is a Mefferts, and it is the exact same size as the Mefferts. And here is a Rubik's one, and it is the exact same size as the Rubik's one. So not a bad puzzle. It's definitely cheaper than the Maru. Now, I know this isn't the best 4x4 out there, and the reason I got this was not because of how good it is, but I wanted one the exact same size as a Rubik's 4x4 uh, for an upcoming project, and I wanted it to turn better than the Rubik's 4x4. So that's why I went ahead and bought this. And uh, I'm excited to do what I'm going to do with it. Comparable to the Maru. The Maru, uh, you know, might cut cut corners a little bit better. See the, the way this Maru cuts this corner here. Maru might be better at that than the Lan Lan. See, nothing, nothing until it actually turns. So there's no real cutting in the center layers. The outer layer cuts a little bit, right? I've heard reports though that with the Maru, 4x4, four four, the center might come out of alignment. Let's see if I can make it do that. Squeeze that real hard. That doesn't seem to want to do it. I've had it happen once before, um, but it's never bugged me, and I don't play with it very much. Maybe if you play with the Maru 4x4 four four a lot, then it will uh, come out of alignment. The Land Land doesn't suffer from that problem. So let's open the Land Land up, see what it looks like inside. It does look like a ball mechanism. So you can see that there is a ball mechanism inside here, and that would uh, explain why it doesn't cut corners as well as the Maru. Uh, with the Maru, it's actually a five by five mechanism, and so it has a center piece with the spring, and that spring can move and it can cut corners because of that. But with the ball mechanism here, there's no way the, this plastic will flex to make it cut corners. So that's why the Land Land doesn't cut corners as well. If you're going to lubricate it, you can just spray in here. Let me do that now. So here's my lubricant. Here's a tip for lubricating your puzzles with silicon spray. After you spray the silicon inside your puzzle and you moved it all around, then you need to let the silicon dry. And either you let it sit for a long period of time, you can uh, also disassemble your puzzle, let it sit out in the air, or uh, here's a tip, you can use this canned air, usually they're canned dusters, and so what you do is you, you put the straw inside the puzzle, let's see if I can get in there. Once it's in there, you pull the trigger and it will blow. And that will help the silicon dry faster. You can do it in a couple places. So now that the silicon is dry, has dried, it turns really nice. It's uh, almost silky. It's almost too nice 
you can see if I want to just turn one layer 90 degrees I can accidentally uh, flick it too hard and it goes too far so let's see let's put blue on the front with one flick and oop, blue is not on the front I have to go back it's almost too loose it spins so fast so once once you put lubrication on the land land it is really fast so even though it's moving a lot nicer it still doesn't cut corners very well it cuts a little bit on this outside layer but on the inside layer it doesn't cut at all so it has to be perfectly in line before it'll before it'll turn so what are my final thoughts on the land land 4x4 I think it's pretty good for its price with some lubrication it moves very nicely much nicer than all my other 4x4s it actually moves the best but its downfall is it doesn't cut corners especially in the middle layer and what I do most with my 4x4s is I, I go into patterns so I, I do a cube and a cube and a cube and a cube and when I do that I use a lot of these corner cuttings and it drives me nuts when I can't cut this middle corner and it doesn't cut at all so it kind of drives me nuts but the reason I got this land land 4x4 was for a project I have in mind and you guys will be seeing that hopefully in my next video so that's pretty much it for this video I hope you enjoyed this unboxing I do come out with new videos every other weekend so be sure to stay tuned for the next video alright guys thanks for watching Do you like my new camera?